Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I appreciate you stopping by. I'm traveling around. I am working on creating the most extensive video library of places to take your motor home within a three hour drive of Dallas, of the Dallas Metroplex. Currently, I'm set up at Johnson Creek on Lake Texoma the Oklahoma side we're done here so I'm gonna jump in the truck and I'm gonna head on down the road and we're gonna go pay a visit to Texoma State Park operated we're gonna go visit Texoma State Park here on the Oklahoma side so let's go Welcome to Dude RV. Been wandering around over here on the northern side of Lake Texoma. I'm camped at a Corps of Engineer campground. Back over that way. But you know, doing what I do, I'm looking for other places to camp. Right now, we're going to go wander around Lake Texoma State Resort Park, the Catfish Bay Campground. Now you got to be mindful when you're coming into Oklahoma State Parks, they now require you to have a parking pass. And your campsite will include one. But if you're bringing another vehicle, you'll need to buy another one. These must be park host sites. Because they're kind of removed from everything else. All right, let's go see some stuff. If you're coming up to Lake Texoma State Park, you have an RV, and you're wondering what do the accommodations look like, well, they actually have two different types of accommodations. They are all pull-throughs. I think these would be considered your, your basic site, just water and electric, gravel pad, just a table between you and your neighbor. And these, I think, would be considered the more luxurious accommodations. It's a concrete pad with sewer. With sewer water and electric. And a picnic table and a fire ring between you and your neighbor. But they're not real big. So I could, I could put Miss V in here. She's 31 feet long. But I don't know if you could get much longer than that. Pace it off. So you could you could get you could do a thirty seven foot RV. All right. Let's go see some more stuff. So here at Lake Texoma State Park, it is, it is located on the banks of Catfish Bay. So this is Catfish Bay. That's the Catfish Bay Marina. And there is a peninsula point that sticks all the way out where you can go and fish in deep water for catfish and there's a sign as you're coming this way that says swimming not advised because of the underwater obstructions it looks like they've dumped a bunch of concrete in here to prevent erosion 
So just be mindful of that when you're at, at, at Lake Texoma State Park. Let's go see if we can find some more stuff. So I, meant, I mentioned this earlier, but we really didn't talk. I didn't, I didn't go into enough detail, I don't think. All right, Oklahoma State Park System. They've implemented this whole parking permit. There's a location, you log, you, you zap, you, you scan the QR code and then you pay. If, but, if you are disabled and you have handicapped parking, you're exempt from that. So if you find one of those, and you have one of those, you don't have to pay. But here at Lake Texoma State Park, I've only found one of those. So there's only parking for one handicapped vehicle. I don't know if they would give you a ticket if you had handicapped plates, and you were not in a handicapped spot. I don't know. I don't want to find out. So I'm not parking very long. <laughs> couple more things to see hold on here at Oklahoma State Park and Resort they have some a number of primitive campsites and as you can tell there is no shortage of wind on on the high point there's an island peninsula island out there where you could do some fishing there's a sign though that says it is it is day day use only all right let's go see some more stuff state park lake texoma resort and state park catfish bay campground now what a mouthful all right if you have a large group of people that are wanting to get together and visit socially distance of course in these strange times that we're having there's actually a covered group pavilion and there's plenty of wind so you can keep the flies off of you ha! I can't believe it I found one I found another one so there's two two handicapped parking spaces so they can, they can there are two cars that can park in this state park without having to pay for parking all right the only other thing left of note here at lake texoma state park and resort catfish bay campground is the boat ramp so we'll go see a boat ramp Lake Texoma State Park and Resort has a boat ramp lots of wind bow fishing no dumping of fish allowed you gotta pay to, to park your boat trailer and truck it says there's no wake and no swimming within a hundred feet of the boat ramp i sure appreciate you stopping by if this is your first visit please remember to click on the subscribe button and hit that bell as well and for those of you who have already been subscribed and who have been riding along thank you I'm deeply honored. That's why I do what I do. All right. I got to go brush my hair. Y'all come back now, you hear?